The government's interagency haze task force convened on Saturday morning as air quality in Singapore entered the unhealthy range for the first time since 2019. The 24-hour pollutant standards index PSI readings ranged between 67 and 123, 9 p.m., with the highest recorded reading in the East. A PSI reading of 101 to 200 is in the unhealthy range, for which the National Environment Agency NEA advises the public to cut down on outdoor activities. Residents in the eastern part of the island experienced the worst of the haze on Saturday, with the PSI going above 100 at 7 a.m. Student Rachel Ong, 18, who lives in Bidok, said she woke up and noticed the haze outside her windows. She said, the haze at 9 a.m. was so thick, I could not even see the neighboring blocks. Marine Parade resident Harriya Ismail, 70, said, it has been a bit hazy these past few days. Especially when I look at the central business district area from the window of my flat on the 25th floor. The broker is asthmatic and has been feeling unwell this past week. She said she switched on the air purifier after seeing the report on the unhealthy PSI levels in the east. Giving an update on the haze situation on Saturday, Minister for Sustainability and the Environment Grace Fu urged Singaporeans to start monitoring the advisories the NEA will be issuing on its website www.nea.gov.sg or on the MyNV mobile app. She was speaking at Yuhua Food Rescue, a monthly event in Jurong East to distribute food to reduce wastage. She said, when you plan your outdoor activities, the next day. You do want to watch what is the PSI reading. If it is in the unhealthy range, you may want to minimize any strenuous outdoor activities in a prolonged manner. Miss Fu said preparations have been made in case the haze situation worsens and assured the public that Singapore has enough mass for use if it does. We have been planning for that and believe there is sufficient stock for us she said. But of course it's always important to remember that we are dealing with uncertain weather conditions. And we just have to always be ready and vigilant. The NEA said on Saturday that 188 hotspots were detected in Sumatra, down from the 212 reported on Friday. There were 65 detected on Thursday and 15 the day before. With lighter winds expected over Singapore and the surrounding region on Sunday, the current hazy conditions are expected to persist, said NEA in an advisory on Saturday. Some showers and a favorable change in wind direction can be expected towards Monday, which may lead to some improvement in the haze situation, the agency added. Air quality had worsened due to a change in wind direction on Friday afternoon that caused some of the lighter haze to blow towards Singapore. As satellite imagery showed smoke plumes and haze over southern and central Sumatra. The last time the PSI exceeded 100 was in November 2019. PSI readings ranged from 85 to 102 on November 13 that year. The most severe haze conditions in Singapore were experienced in 2015, when the 24-hour PSI crossed 300 to hit the hazardous range on September 24. The Ministry of Education closed all primary and secondary schools the next day. On Friday night, the 1-hour PM 2.5 in the central and eastern parts of Singapore was at elevated levels meaning PM2.5 concentrations were above 55 micrograms per cubic m of air. PM2.5 refers to fine particles, usually airborne, that are 2.5 microns or smaller and can be lodged deep in the lungs, posing severe health risks. The PSI is computed based on a 24-hour average of concentration levels of PM2.5, among other pollutants. With the air quality worsening, some people in Singapore 
have had to adjust their plans for the day. Home Team NS, in a Facebook post on Saturday morning, say its annual real run 23 had to be modified. It said its 10 km competitive race would be converted to a non-competitive run. The other two race categories, the 5 km non-competitive run and the 2 4 km fun walk, would proceed as planned.